Hello guys. So for today's video, I will show you how to add customers and vendors to QuickBooks. This is the icon for the vendor center. This is for the customer center. There are also icons here, customers, vendors, or you can also access the customer center here or here. So we will start with customers. I will click this. To add a new customer, just right click and then new customer or the shortcut is control N. I will add Binyan Doctors Hospital. This is the only required information in adding a customer name. But if you would like to make QuickBooks as your customer or vendor database, then you can also fill out the other information. So I'll copy the information here. So this is your contact person. I leave it blank. Phone number. Email. Uh, work phone you can also put in mobile numbers email this portion here should be filled out if you are printing your invoices sales receipts or estimates from quickbooks so this is the information that goes to those forms we'll fill out address Okay, and then the next tab is the payment settings. You can put in the account number, but I prefer putting the TIN number of the customer here. You can also fill out the payment terms so that every time that you will create an invoice, it will automatically give you the due date. We can also put in the credit limit and then the price level. The price level is a special kind of pricing for this certain customer. Preferred delivery method of the invoices or the receipts. The preferred payment method, let's say check. You can also fill out the credit card information. This portion is useful if you are subscribed to the merchant services of QuickBooks. Then to the sales tax settings, if the customer is taxable, then you can fill it out. Additional info, you can put in the customer type. And then if you have a salesperson, sales rep for this client, you can add it here. And then we also have custom fields for any information that you would like to add for your customer. Next is the job info. This portion is useful for construction businesses. You can put in the job description, the job type, job status, or the and the start date, projected end date, and the end date for a certain project. So for our kind of business, we will leave this blank. I will click OK. OK, so this is my new customer. And there are various tabs here. For the transactions tab, you can see all of the transactions for that certain customer. You can see the invoices, the payments, or the sales receipts. You can add the contact persons here. All right. And then if you have anything that you, you would like to remind yourself to do for that certain customer, you can put it here. And this will prompt every time that you will open QuickBooks. You can add notes. And if you're sending your invoices or your forms from QuickBooks, then you, this is the sent email portion. This icon here, attach. You can attach pictures, Excel files, Word files, or any any file that you would like to add for that certain customer. So I will add a picture. Done. If I would like to see the files, I'll just click again, double click, and here it is the other window there are also links here quick report i'll go to the other to another customer yeah so if you click quick report this will give you a report 
for the transactions of, of that customer. Open balance, this will give you the open balances for that customer. Uh, estimates, if there are any. Customer snapshot. So basically the information for that certain customer. All right, so that's the customer center. Let's go to the vendors. So this is the vendor center. So to add a new vendor, it's just the same with the customer center. Just right click and then click new vendor. The shortcut is control N. I will add a new vendor. The other information are also optional. So I will just leave it blank for now. Payment settings, so just the same with the customer center. This is the name that should appear in the checks when we print our checks from QuickBooks. So if the name of the vendor is Pfizer, but for bank deposit purposes, the name on the check should be Pfizer Operation. And this is the name that will appear on the check when we print the checks from QuickBooks. Tax settings, so the tax ID account settings by the time that you put the vendor name in the bill or in the check it will automatically give you electricity expense as the account so that will be lesser mistake in choosing the correct category for the expenses and additional info there are vendor types and there are also defined fields here all right so and just the same with the customer center there are tabs here for the transactions the contacts to do the notes and the sent email and there are also links for the quick report and the open balances you can also attach any files or documents for that certain vendor all right so that's all about the basics for the customers and the vendors you can also watch my other video on how to export customers or vendor list to quickbooks using an excel file for more quickbooks tutorials tips and tricks just subscribe to my youtube channel thank you